Hello, this is Retro Marky. Been a while since I've made a video. I've been doing some Commodore 64 repairs and uh, some work on a few other projects. But uh, in the meantime, I have been sent a couple of things from Ami 64. This is one of them that I'm going to showcase in a moment. And this is just an update on the Micro 64 console which has now got a, a new box which is quite funky and not sure if this is a new one or not I don't think it is but uh, we've got the same cassette idea inside they're still available on ME64 uh, I do want to say that due to the work I did on that um, with the guys there I do have a an interest in, in uh, what they're doing which means I do get a little bit of money now um, because of some of the help I've given and things like that so just so you know um, I have an interest in this when it comes to the other stuff on the website that's nothing to do with me so um, buy stuff if you want but you don't have to but uh, I'll put a link in anyway so the thing I want to showcase you is this which is called PRG REST or PROGRESS I guess and comes in yet again a nice little old school cassette and this is what we get it's probably not very easy to see on camera but um, basically I've got an SD card here and the clue is in the title PRG which means this is a PRG loader so it's a little bit like a SD2IC which is for disk images but this is a PRG device uh, the nice thing about this is um, it's just under £30 from AMI64 so the price is good and it's very small and compact and there's no cables or anything like you get with the SD2 and um, it's very very easy to use and it's got a built in file browser so I shall show you that now Okay, so the device is now inserted down there, and all we need to do is do our usual shift run stop, and it will load automatically the file browser. So obviously, it's sort of comparable to the SD2 IEC, but with PRG files, not disk images, they're not compatible across those two formats. And there we go, so we get a browser very much like the SD2 IEC. And uh, you can use keyboard or joystick, which is quite nice. Uh, what have I got on here? Quick game, maybe. Let's not do Whizball. I always do Whizball, don't I? What else can I do? Iridium. Have I got Iridium? I have. So you can see it's fairly quick to load. I do prefer it in some ways, because you can just leave this in the back of your machine. I find with the SD2 card, uh, ST2IC device that I tend to unplug it because of all the cables not that it's that many cables but yeah this is a little bit more compact in that sense and there we go we've loaded Iridium in about 10 seconds or so so you can see that works rather well there is another thing now I've not looked into this much yet but on here, on the image I managed to find online, that you would have to Google around for in your own way, is there are some alternative images. And they are called TCRT, I think, if I remember. We'll soon see when the browser comes up. Yes, TCRT. And these are a little bit like something like an easy flash. Let's have a look at that. I don't know what that is. One megabyte. Multiple images. Ah, oh, okay. So here we've got all sorts of utilities and things. That's not much use to us right now. If I quit again. Turn on, turn off turn on, turn off. So you can see it's very very easy to use this. So the TCRT image um, is 
kind of like an easy flash, one of these things where you make up a multiple set of uh, software files onto one big file. Let's have a look at um, one of the game ones. So this is a two megabyte image. Yeah, and you've got a bunch of stuff on here. Ooh, Hunter's Moon. Love that game. Well, doesn't come, or mine didn't come with any software, although I did get a download link. Um, might have to check with the guys at ME64 about that, whether you get software. I think you do, but not sure about that for legal images. And there we have it, isn't that wonderful? So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. That's the progress, I suppose it's called. And don't forget the Micro 64 is still available. And it's a wonderful little device, I still use mine quite often. And if you do buy one, it will help me out a little bit, which is also a big juicy retro marquee bonus. Well, it's that time of day, so I'll say uh, retro marquee out.